interesting comments here from Bob Arum regarding the potential bout between Errol Spence and Keith Thurman. Now, the reason this is interesting is because Bob Arum doesn't have a horse in the race here. In fact, Al Heyman is a rival of his. Al Heyman is someone who he hasn't always gotten on well with. But yet he's speaking positively about the Errol Spence-Keith Thurman fight, if that happens. So he said, that's a good fight. Many people think that Spence has no problem with Thurman, but I disagree. I think he's got a good shot. He's got a good shot. He's a very skilled fighter. I give him a very good chance. Goes on to say, I think that's a very competitive fight. Spence probably will win, but Thurman will give him a hell of a fight. All right, those are the words of Bob Arum. What do you guys think? I have to imagine most of you disagree because Keith Thurman hasn't looked impressive for a very, very long time. When was the last time that he put in a performance that made people think that, okay, this guy is the, or, you know, number one or at least number two in the welterweight division? You'd probably have to go back to what? Maybe the Danny Garcia or Sean Porter fights? That was 2016 and 2017. People were on the verge of 2023. Do the math, right? It's a long time ago. <laughs> so, you know, since then, there was... Two years out of the ring, comes back against Josecito Lopez. Majority decision, doesn't look good. Loses to Manny Pacquiao. Fights Mario Barrios earlier on this year. But again, not a particularly scintillating performance. So you look at Keith Thurman's recent fights and you think, he shouldn't be a problem for Errol Spence. I have to imagine most of you think that. But... Who knows, sometimes a fighter like Thurman, who is quality, does have ability, did have some good victories in the past, when they get written off, they can come out with, let's say, a great performance out of nowhere. We saw that with Evander Holyfield most famously, right? Holyfield got written off after the first bowl fight, comes back, puts in a great performance in a bowl rematch, wins. He was written off after he lost to Michael Mora. Uh, he had health problems, apparently, with his heart and stuff like that. Lost his boxing license for a while. Comes back, ends up fighting Mike Tyson. Nobody gives him a shot. He puts in a fantastic performance. Some people would argue that's the greatest performance of Holyfield's career. So he was... He became famous for doing that, you know, winning fights he wasn't supposed to win when he was supposed to be washed up. Can Keith Thurman channel some real deal Holyfield? He's going to need to <laughs> in order to uh, even be competitive, I think, with Errol Spence. So, yeah, I'll be interested to hear your thoughts, whether you agree with Bob Arum or whether you strongly disagree and think that this will be... Uh, straightforward for not that Spence is going to go in there and just wipe Thurman out necessarily but many of you I'm sure will think that he'll dominate the fight and maybe win handily on points one of the issues I see in that fight for Thurman one of the many issues is the fact that Errol Spence is a notoriously good body puncher and Keith Thurman has a notoriously fragile body <laughs> Right? We've seen this guy hurt to the body on many occasions. And so him going in against Errol Spence, who will be by far and away the best body puncher he's ever fought in his career, it might be disaster for Keith Thurman. Do you know what I mean? It may be disaster. So we'll see what happens if and when they step in the ring. Let me know what you guys think.